Wallace Aubrey will stand in here. He doubled his first time around. Hey, strike this guy out. Let's go. And this will be swung on and bounced on the ground to second. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. So they go down without a whimper here. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Aaron Hawk will stand in. A base right hit his first time around. Aaron Hawk. Runner breaks for third. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Number 10 will dig in. He singled his first time around. Number 10. Hey, one down now, one down. Here we go, guys, let's go. Hey, get ahead right now. Here's the ball hit pretty well and carrying to deep right. Hawk is there to put it away and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Wallace Aubrey will dig in. One for two, including a double back in the first. Now a swing and a ground ball. Lewis Harrell will get another crack. One for three thus far. Hit on the ground to shortstop. One there. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Nothing across here this half of the inning. Seventh inning stretch time here in the Sunshine State. The Eastern prospects lead it two to nothing. Aaron Mota will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Aaron Mota. Number 10 will dig in. He's one for two in the ball game. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. Number 10. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Just kind of rolled over that one, unfortunately. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back. A ground out isn't exactly the kind of at-bat you want to have when... There are people in the stands trying to figure out if they want to draft you. Number 10 is set to go now as we lead off the bottom of the ninth. Second baseman, number 10. And here's a ball hit in the air. Aubrey is there to make the catch, and it's a dreadful start to the bottom of the ninth. One pitch, one out. Number 10 will step in, one for four in the ball game. Number 10. Fouled straight back. And this is going to be a foul ball in amongst the spectators. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Well, most of the time, you don't mind a harmless bean ball because it can really help your team by getting guys on base. But in this situation, you're wanting to show off your stuff, show these scouts here what you can do with the bat. So I'm sure that's a little bit disappointing for him in that at-bat and for these scouts that want to see what he can do. Derek Zahorik will dig in. He lined out hard in his last time around. Now a fastball to start things out. Didn't miss by a lot, but it's 1-0. He is definitely not a guy that's going to back down out there. Right after the hit by pitch, he comes right back inside with another heater. Kind of shows you what he's made of. Before the pitch, a check on that winning run at first. Oh, and it froze him, and they got him. Looks like he just got caught sleeping over there at first. His lead wasn't particularly big or anything, so I just think he lost focus, and the pitcher makes him pay for it. Everybody can have a brain cramp out there from time to time, but doing it in this type of setting, a showcase game, probably isn't the best timing. 
Joe Langston will stand in. He flew out his last time up. Oh, this is hit to third. Will it be two? There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Number 10 will step in. One for four in the ball game. Number 10. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Here's a ground ball, and it's going to get on through the hole into left field. A base hit. Scoring is the runner from third, and that'll cut the lead down to one. Well, I'm sure he's happy about that at bat. He gets himself a nice single in front of all the scouts, and to top it off, he picks up an RBI to help out his team. Derek Zahorek will stride in, grounded out his last time through. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Even though this is still just a one-run game, this thing could get ugly in a hurry. So if you've got an out pitch, you better pull it out of the bag right now. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in a strike zone. 2-0 on the way. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. The alarm bells are ringing now. They're getting louder and louder, too. Comes with a slider, 3-0, and but gets it over for strike one. Yeah, he needed that one to avoid loading the bases, but it's still a long road back from here. And he misses ball four. So now that potential tying run scoots up 90 feet to third base. Mitchell McLeod will want to at least get one airborne so he can avoid the inning ending double play. Good bite to the slider and he takes strike one. A lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen as you see there. You gotta wonder how long they'll wait till they pull the plug. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And they'll come inside with this one, but the result's the same. It's to two and one now. Deep breath time now on the mound. You gotta compose yourself. And that strike zone's looking about the size of a tin can. Here comes the two one. Uh, and this could be trouble now. It's three and one. <laughs> and listen to this crowd now. They are into it. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. And a little battle brewing here as he fights off the two-strike pitch and chops it foul. The next three, two. And he missed with it. Ball four. And a terrible job on the mound there as just like that, we are tied again. David Ruiz will step in with a full house out there in what may be the pivotal at-bat of this game. Here's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. 
And I'm not generally in favor of pitching changes in the middle of an at-bat, but with the bases loaded, you got to get someone in there that can throw a strike. The 1-0. And he looks at a slider in there, 1-1. One one. Yeah, definitely taken all the way. Not a bad idea with the bases loaded. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, 2-1. and one. Now the pressure will really start to mount out there. That strike zone's going to feel like it's the size of a soup can right now. To the left side, that's a base hit as it's through into left. Around third and being waved on home. And that's going to do it as they walk off as winners here in the 13th. Well, the bats were certainly working in this one, but out of everybody, I'd say this man most deserves to be our top player of the game.